Be ready. And be ready for your forecast. Let's take a look at the look right now. 4029 meteorologist Robert Sir back with us. And uh, Robert, talking about uh, some rain. So uh, yes. talk about a day here or there. Is this kind of extended? It is kind of extended, but real quick, I do love a good countdown clock. I think everybody loves a good yeah, countdown yeah. clock. Yeah. Bring it on, right? <laughs> but we are counting down the minutes until the raindrops start to fall. Unfortunately, that's probably five or six hours away. Tomorrow is an impact day uh, for Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Basically, between 3 a.m. and 11 a.m., we are going to see a thunderstorm complex move into the area while many of us are asleep. And it could be accompanied by heavy rain, gusty winds, and maybe some small hail, and we can't rule out an isolated strong to severe storm possible. In fact, we already have a severe thunderstorm watch uh, hoisted up by the Storm Prediction Center for central and eastern portions of Oklahoma. That goes through 3 a.m., and we have a flood watch in effect that does include McDonald County here, just to our north, until 8 a.m. Now, will this be extended into our area? That remains to be seen. We'll see if that thunderstorm complex kind of holds together in the overnight hours to bring us uh, some flooding rains and some severe weather. Quiet in Fayetteville right now where we got to 75 degrees. This morning's thunderstorm complex that really weakened kept the clouds around all day and that's what really negated temperatures from rising to at or above average. And the same thing happened in Fort Smith, just 79, well, well below where we should be for this time of the year of 87. Out there right now, it is nice and quiet uh, for your neighborhood, mostly in the uh, 60s and lower 70s across northwest Arkansas, as well as the River Valley. And you can see those temperatures for your neighborhood in northwest Arkansas, again, upper 60s and lower 70s. Meanwhile, for the River Valley, a few cooler spots where they still had the rain and clouds, lower 60s across the region. Now, as we take you throughout the evening, this is new model data that you're seeing here. It's still showing around 3, 4 in the morning, the thunderstorm complex, but it's slightly smaller and slightly weaker, which is good news, but that doesn't mean the morning rush won't come without its bumps and bruises uh, with uh, showers and a few thunderstorms embedded in there and some very heavy rain. But it is a quick mover. It will be in and out relatively quick. You can see the back edge of it already leaving the area by 8 a.m. And by 11 a.m., the clouds are starting to thin. There might be one or two sprinkles behind it. But what's important is by the afternoon, you see these numbers in the 80s. Well, if we have all this cloud cover still hanging around, we're going to struggle to get to these numbers. We'll be back in the 70s again like we were today. And then waking up Tuesday morning, we could be dealing with another weaker thunderstorm complex entering the area. Uh, isolated to scattered severe storms are possible with that complex. Notice the worst back across uh, well to our west because the system should be weakening as it's making its way toward our area. Hopefully lows tonight in the 60s. Again, I think these numbers might be a little overdone. It depends on how long the cloud cover sticks around on Monday. But again, we should be drying out by at least at the latest the lunch hour. Some showers possible Tuesday morning. Another round of showers and thunderstorms that are more significant possible Wednesday and Friday morning for Northwest Arkansas as well as the River Valley before a cold front rolls through and finally shoves the train of thunderstorm complexes off to out of the area finally same thing for the river valley you can see those temperatures they might be a little warmer than they'll end up being we'll have to wait and see but uh weather anchor majestic storm will be in first thing tomorrow morning she'll be keeping an eye on everything for you at sunrise on sunrise starting at 4 30. stay with us we'll take a look at sports after the break